What is going down guys, it's Insomnus here again, back with another video, and for today's video I'm going to be fulfilling you guys' request, uh, in the last video a lot of you guys uh, wanted me to make a video teaching you guys how I made uh, so much money, and in this video I'm going to be basically showing you guys how I managed to amass around 2 million uh, gold in wealth over the past uh, 3 days of this account. Now, as you can see, I've got 1 million cash here and around another million in items. So, basically, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how I did that, my personal way, how I went about doing it. It's not, it may not be the most effective way for you. I'm just going to tell you guys exactly how I uh, did it. Maybe you guys want to imitate it, or maybe you want to kind of adapt from that and do your own thing. But I'm going to tell you guys nonetheless. And then after I finish that, I'll go on to show you guys my progress like you would in a normal progress video. So, jumping straight into it, I'm going to go straight to fletching and woodcutting. Now, as soon as I spawned in, I went around the corner from Lumbridge, straight to the um, normal logs, started cutting normal logs until I um, had amassed enough normal logs to start fletching my um, regular arrow, arrow shafts and I crafted arrow shafts until 20 fletching which also got me around 20 to 25 wood cutting. Now, after getting this, this took a tedious amount of time by the way, from getting 1 to 20 wood cutting and fletching it took around like one and a half, two hours, so it took quite a while. And then after that, I ended up uh, saving my arrow shaft. You might want to sell yours to the general store or to a player, um, whatever floats your boat, really. But after this, I went straight on to oak logs. Now, I ran over to Draenor and started cutting oaks there and banking them all. And then after I had amassed a couple, I started fletching the oak short bows until I could craft oak long bows, then crafted oak long bows until I could craft uh, willow short bows at 35. I pretty much banked all of these uh, un un unstrung bows, and then I took them straight out of the bank after I hit 35 fletching, and then sold them to the general store. Uh, for a little bit of profit because every little bit does help at this point now from here on out what I did is I, I, I pretty much bought everything from here on out so I had to amass a bit of gold so what I did was I uh, ran across White Wolf Mountain and ran all the way to Adrugni if that's how you pronounce it or Adi and I basically uh, stole from um, men until I got level 5 thieving and then I got to Adi started stealing from the cake stall until I got level 20 thieving then stole from the silk stall until I had around 50k gold which took about uh, two hours and once you feed the silk from the stalls you basically trade it to a player nearby and they will pay you um, a nice amount of gold for that and then after this I made my way back to Draenor and continued on with my fletching now what I did here is I obviously crafted a willow short bows until I could craft willow long bows and then crafted willow long bows until 50 so I could craft willow sh uh, maple short bows and I sold all of these unstrung willow long bows to the store again because players don't generally want these. Now from here on out you may actually want to go and collect a bit more gold uh, from doing uh, whatever method you want. Um, probably the silk method would be decent for getting a little bit to get you started on this but what I did is I got my fishing level up a bit and captured about 1k lobsters then cooked and sold those um, to actually get myself a bit more gold. Now from here on out you want to craft maple short bows until you have got 55 um, fletching and then you want to sell your maple short bows you to the general store. This is what I did. Um, if you guys are following this then hopefully it's going well for you so far. But basically what I did after this is you have to get your mage up and how I got this up was I um, that money that I amassed early you should have around 80k gold at this point or, that, or at least that's what I had. I, I casted wind strikes until I got level 3, casted confuse until I got level 11, casted um, weaken until I got level 19, then casted curse until I got to level 21 for low alchemy. Now um, every I crafted you know maple longbows with the remaining amount of money that I had and then I also went and bought um, um, bow strings and then crafted these maple longbows into full on maple longbows, not the unstrung ones, the full maple longbows, and then I went and bought some nature runes for around 150 GP, actually there was around 100 GP at the time, so for each um, thousand of these that I was actually alking, I was making a bit of profit, I wasn't going in a loss, but at today's price, even if you was doing this method, you should still break even um, when low alking and maple longbows, or maybe just lose a tiny bit of GP, but do this until you hit 55 mage and also 70 fletching. So this may take a while, it did definitely take me a while, but it is worth it in the end. When you get to 70 fletching, it's pretty obvious you want to be uh, crafting new longbows and then high alking them. And uh, basically what I did though, 
was um, I would um, ha I had to basically find myself a couple of dedicated um, woodcutters that would basically woodcut um, logs for me exclusively. So I had like four or five people who were constantly bringing me logs and I would buy them off them for around 350 to 400 GP each and that is as of today when this video goes live that's basically the price. Then I would go and buy bowstrings for around 30 to 40 GP each that is again today's price and nature's for around 150 GP each anywhere from 100 to 150 GP each again these prices can change so don't rely on this guide forever and you will have to adjust uh, the things that you do uh, depending on what the prices are at the current time and again if you guys want to collect these stuff yourself maybe you've got 70 uh, wood cutting as well you can collect all this and just make even more profit again it will take longer to craft it all and I basically fletched those bows together and then out them to gain a bit of cash and then that got me up to around 700 or I did that until I got up to like my first million and then after this I was getting pretty bored of actually fletching my own bows so I decided that I would just buy the materials and seeing a syndicate um, or Tom was you know going for high fletching I decided that I would give him my uh, materials to create you long bows and he would actually create them uh, you know willingly so he could get the XP and then give me the bows back and I would out them from there it saved me the time of actually um, fletching them while I could go and do other stuff while he fletched them and also got me the same amount of money so if you guys want to try this out it is working for me and it will be working for a while longer um, a lot of people have been doing this I do wish that I could have done this from day one but again I didn't actually make this account account till two days after release but I think I've done well with it so far again here's all the stuff that I've actually managed to amass 1 million GP a load of this stuff is around uh, 1 mil I'm going to say the items are about 1 to 1.25 mil probably so I've made a pretty decent amount of cash to say I've been playing on this servers uh, for three days on these accounts so if you guys do want to follow this kind of personal guide that I kind of followed I uh, feel free to do so make sure you do tell me if it helps you guys out or not I am going to be making a lot more money making guys in the future I do have a lot of ideas for really good methods of making money but those will come in the future but for now I'm just going to quickly uh, touch up on my stats uh, really really quickly and briefly 29 um, hit points 47 attack 33 strength 31 um, agility 60 fishing 63 cooking 35 Fire making, 35 of wood cutting, 74 fletching, 9 slaying, 9 hunter, 21 room crafting, and 67 mage. Basically, those are the changes. 40 combat since the last video uh, slightly changed. A lot of the other stats I've got a lot higher combat level, uh, total level now. Completed vampire slayer, death plateau, the grand tree, um, the tree known village, and waterfall quest. Now, if you guys do want to drop by my clan chat, it's just L N Z O M N I A. I'll try and put a, like a, a name link here or whatever. But that's basically it. And yeah, I've made quite a bit of progress since my last video. Again, if this kind of helped you out, guys, make sure you do tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys also have any money-making guys that you want to share with the rest of us, make sure you do say so down below. And again, if you got any suggestions for what I can do on this channel, maybe any more ideas, I will make sure you do tell me them, and I will make sure to get uh, through those. I am, of course, going to be doing a ton of money-making guides and update videos until I actually get my peer to the point where I can actually start PKing. Because what I want to focus on on this channel uh, in the long run is actually PK videos because that's what I enjoy doing the most on this game. So look forward to that. And yes, this is pretty much the end of this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave me a comment, a like, subscribe if you're not already, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.